Here, let us learn how to find the remainders of algebraic expressions. For example, let us find the remainder of x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 when divided by x plus 1. So this is the dividend, this is the divisor. So according to the remainder theorem, we have to find the 0 of x plus 1, which is nothing but x plus 1 equals to 0. And x equals 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. Therefore, x equals minus 1. So what we have to do now, substitute the value of x in the dividend here. Let us do that. Minus 1 the whole cube plus 3 into minus 1 the whole square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1. Plus minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 therefore 1 into 3 is 3. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and we write plus 1 as it is. The negative 1 and the positive 1 gets cancelled. The positive 3 and the negative 3 gets cancelled. So we have 0. So therefore, 0 is the remainder of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Let us solve a couple of more problems based on the same concept. Now, let us take the same dividend that is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Let us see what is the remainder when it is divided by x minus 1 by 2. So again, 0 of x minus 1 by 2 is nothing but x minus 1 by 2 equals 0. x equals 0 plus 1 by 2 which is x equals 1 by 2. So we found the value of x. Now all we have to do is substitute the value of x in this expression which is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So let us take this as p of x. So then we have p of 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 whole cube plus 3 into 1 by 2 whole square plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 which gives us 1 cube is 1 and 2 cube is 8 plus 3 into 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 which gives us 1 by 8 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus 1. Let us take this 1 as 1 by 1 because we have to find the LCM of 8, 4, 2 and 1. The LCM of 8, 4, 2 and 1 is 8 and the numerator is 1 plus LCM of 8, 4, 2, 1 is 8. Therefore, we have 8 into 1 is 8. So, we multiply 1 also by 1. 4 times 2 is 8, therefore we multiply 3 by 2. 2 times 4 is 8, therefore we multiply 3 also by 4. 1 times 8 is 8 and therefore we multiply the numerator 1 also by 8. Therefore, 1 into 1 gives us 1. 3 into 2 gives us 6. 3 into 4 is 12. And 1 into 8 is 8, which is nothing but 27 by 8. That is 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 12 is 19. 19 plus 8 is 27. Therefore, 27 by 8 is the remainder of this expression x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Let us solve another problem. I'll rewrite the expression that is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. 
let me rewrite that this is the dividend and the question is find the remainder of x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 when divided by x so this is the divisor now so now let us find the 0 of x 0 of x is nothing but 0 because all we have to do is equate the divisor to 0 and x is equal to 0. So now let us consider this as p of x. So therefore p of 0 will be equal to 0 cube plus 3 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 1. So 0 cube is 0, 3 into 0 is 0, 3 into 0 is 0 plus 1. So we have 1 as the remainder of this polynomial. Now let us see what happens when the same polynomial x cubed plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by another expression. That is nothing but x plus pi. So x plus pi is the divisor here. So all we have to do here is 0 of x plus pi is equal to, we have to equate x plus pi to 0. So x equals 0 minus pi, which we get x equals minus pi. So all we have to do here is, if p of x is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1, then p of minus pi will be equal to minus pi the whole cube plus 3 into minus pi the whole square plus 3 into minus pi plus 1 which gives us minus pi cube plus 3 pi square because minus pi into minus pi is plus pi square and minus pi into plus 3 is minus 3 pi into plus 1. So we cannot further simplify this and therefore this is the remainder. Minus pi cube plus 3 pi square minus 3 pi plus 1 is the remainder of x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1.